Um, so I'm going to call to order the regular meeting for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. If we will all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was good. Thank you. James uh, approves of my pledge today. That's nice. Um, so <laughs> introduction of board members to my left, Mr. Paul Amatucci, my first time introducing you. Thank you. What a great um, contributor to our board. Vice Chairman Mike LaRue, and remotely I have Allison Hurlihy, I have Jerry Graybill, and I don't see Amber. Amber up. The oh, there is Amber. Um, I was like, I know I've I've been talking to her, Amber Fecto, who is of no relation to me, though she is my client. And there we have Jen McCabe, our code enforcement officer. And here on site, we have James Bellissimo, planning um, captain extraordinaire. That's your latest. Oh, I wanted to say also that our former chairman of the planning board, Dave Andreessen, is home. Yeah. And he hopefully is watching tonight. So um, Dave, we miss you. Let's hope I can do half as good of a job as you have done. Um, but I've learned everything that I learned from you. And um, oh, here's something new, Dave. So before I begin, I always like to kind of review the planning board responsibilities because uh, I think we get a different audience uh, at home and not everybody really understands exactly what our responsibility is. But basically we have to put our own feelings about anything um, out the door and review what's in front of us with um, what's been provided against the land use ordinance. And then another thing that we have to keep in mind is that if a use is permitted in a zone, like we're reviewing a use today, the, if it's permitted in a zone, then it is consistent with a comprehensive plan, and we can't just say, no, we don't want that, so um, we deny it. That's not how the planning board works. I like to let people know that every single time I start a meeting. And with that being said, I will open the pu first public comment. Do we have anybody? We have uh, no emails and nobody waiting to get in. Okay, no emails, nobody waiting. So I will close the public comment section. And we'll move on to the approval of minutes from the February 18th meeting. I was not here for that meeting, so I'm going to abstain. Do we have any? Today is the 18th. What's up? Today is the 18th. Oh, today is the 18th? That was the 4th. March 4th. Oh, March 4th. Sorry. <laughs> the March 4th. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Paul's going to be the next chairman of this board. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. surprised it wasn't a typo on my I'm, re I'm reading down know. here. <laughs> um, so uh, does anybody have any? issues with these minutes or did James do a good job this time? First time. Wow, very nice. So I, I move that the minutes be accepted. Perfect. And I'll second. All right, so I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Oh, so we have one, two. Amber, are you in favor? Three, four, five in favor and I'm going to abstain. Any opposed? Nope. All right. Moving on. So we're on to old business, which is the site plan review for the solar farm off Hubbard Road. James? I think we had three outstanding issues okay. from last meeting. Uh, the first one was a response from our fire chief. We did get a response back saying there was no additional concerns um, that um, what has already been addressed um, well, they were addressed. Um, that takes care of one. Two was a uh, road maintenance agreement in writing, and that was provided in a memo form. Um, they will document the condition of Forest Lane prior to construction, and uh, they will, uh, once the construction is done, they will um, either bring it back to the, the condition now or improve it. And then um, all other maintenance from that point on is it just goes back to what the the status quo from today. Can um, I just had one question about that because I'm in real estate and I love contracts. 
is there a way that we can add to the, I know we have a condition um, on this use. Can we put a timeline on that? Like within 30 days of the completion of their project that it's done. I just like to have a date. So it's not yeah, outside. Thank you. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Within 30, 30 days, does that sound right? I think that sounds fair. Yeah, I, I don't see any reason why that would be an issue whatsoever. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Drew. Yep, so I would just say within 30 days of occupancy or with of a CO maybe. This sure. way we have a, a definite, like COs are recorded, right, Jen? Like we have a date for that and then we have 30 days from that. So if we just add within 30 days yep. of granting of certificate of occupancy to the fourth condition. Yep. The last thing from the meeting was uh, landscaping. So there's now three uh, landscape buffers for different abutters. Good. And the last, I guess the last thing I have, we can jump right into the conditions of approval. Mm -hmm. um, I think for number four, we can add that uh, add that thirty day. Um, I went over the condi the conditions last time, but I can go over them again. Before a certificate of occupancy is granted, a stamp decommissioning plan and proof of a surety bond in the amount recommended by the plan taken out on behalf of the town of Berwick. If the solar farm stops producing power for one year, the property owner shall have one year to implement the decommissioning plan. The applicant shall keep the surety bond active and current. The cost estimates should be estimates. The cost estimates for the decommissioning plan shall be updated every five years to reflect cost changes. Great. Anybody from the board have any further questions or comments? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Do you want to go over the findings of fact? Yeah, before, before you get into yeah. that, uh, my question was exactly yours. What's the timing on the road? Mm -hmm. And also, is there any work that needs to be done to the road prior to starting work on this project is because I remember when we did our site walk, there were enormous potholes filled with water and ice and that sort of thing. Is there anything that needs to be done prior uh, to, uh, to you running trucks over there and, and, and that sort of thing? I'm thinking about this more from the perspective of the homeowners in that area on forest uh, that, that you know, may have that road compromised as you're doing this? Yeah, um, great question. Um, thank you for asking. So um, again, Drew is here to keep me honest. Um, <laughs> my, my understanding is that what we will do <clears throat> as part of our plan is to put um, a specific amount or uh, a, a certain amount of gravel over that road, uh, that access road, to fortify it and and strengthen it and prepare it for vehicle traffic, the construction vehicle traffic, and and the intent is that would be left there, uh, and I'm I don't see any reason why the um, landowners, the homeowners, it, that'll be an improvement to the road, uh, um, and that would be left there in an improved condition. Is that, am I uh, on track there, Drew? You sound, you, I'm keeping you honest, yes, yes. I think that ties into uh, on the, the roadway memo on the third bullet down, we say, you know, maintained by gravel filling, minor regrading, surface smoothing. We don't say a timeline on that, but that's, I think that would be in the purview of, of Soltage and their contractors too, so that they're not coming in there and, you know, um, you know, creating deeper potholes and possibly, you know, bottoming out vehicles and that sort of thing. So I think that ties into that third bullet where, you know, they may want to have a few loads of gravel at, at the start, at the onset to smooth that out. And then as James mentioned, you know, we're going to document it pre-construction and post-construction so that, you know, those areas that are filled out are, are maintained. Good point, because if we, I mean, we're all watching the construction of the solar farm on 236, which is a smaller project than this one. And 
I mean, we, you, we have a good <laughs> grasp of exactly how much traffic and, and whatnot is going on over there. So it's a great question. Yeah, we, um, I don't have the construction schedule in front of me. Um, I, we haven't actually put it together yet as far as I'm aware, um, at this point, but the adding gravel, fortifying the access road is typically one of the very first things we do because it's logical before you start bringing equipment in, um, you need to address that first. So that, that is the, the typical plan. And I think it's reasonable to expect that. Any other questions, Paul? No, that's it. Thank you. Mr. LaRue. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Allison, any questions? No. Amber, no. any questions? I don't have any questions. Jerry Graybill, what do you have? I got one question on findings of fact item C. Did we, did we talk about or was the temporary lay down area discussed as to where that is? I don't see it on the, on the, uh, the plans, but do we have an idea where that is? Yeah, Brett, correct me if I'm wrong, but typically, as Brett mentioned, the first thing, first thing they do when they get in is build the road. Um, so I should have mentioned on the previous question, they're going to be bringing in that gravel material to construct the new road into the site. So that material will be coming in and can be used to touch up the road. But typically that storage and lay down area is as they enter the site, the fence won't be built yet, but what they typically do will build the road in and then unload and stage materials inside the cleared project area. Um, so that they can unload and construct as they go and then kind of work themselves out. But that's usually all inside the site um, within the limits of work as they work themselves out. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sure. Well, I have nothing further. So I guess we can move on to approve the findings of fact. Yep. So I would look for a motion to approve the findings of fact for the Berwick Hubbard Solar One LLC project. I move to approve. All right, Thank move. <laughs> okay. Motion made by Allison. I need a second. Second. All right, second by Paul. Any further discussion on the findings of fact? No? Okay, so I'm gonna do a roll call vote on that. Paul? Agree. Okay, Mike? Yes. Gray Bill? Yes. Allison? Yes. I saw a yes. I didn't hear it. <laughs> um, and does Amber vote tonight? One, two, there's six of you. So someone's not a voting member. One, okay, two. so Amber's not a voting member. So you can stay muted. And I vote yes on the findings of fact. So the next vote that we need is on the conditions of approval as amended. We have those four conditions. There were no waivers requested and there are no waivers being granted tonight, just FYI. So I need a motion to approve the conditions of approval. Move that we accept the conditions of approval as amended. All right, so moved by Mr. LaRue. I need a second. I will second. All right, seconded by Jerry Graybill. Any further discussion on the conditions? All right, seeing nobody have any further discussion, we are going to do a roll call vote to approve the conditions of approval. Paul? Yes. Mike? Yes. Jerry? Yes. And Allison? Yes. And I vote yes as well, so that approves the conditions. And for the last vote we need is just to approve the site plan for the solar farm off Hubbard Road by Berwick Hubbard Solar LLC. I move that we approve the site plan. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Moved by Paul. I need a second. I second. All right. Seconded by Allison. Any further discussion? All right. Seeing no further discussion, we're going to do a roll call vote. Paul? Yes. Mike? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Allison? Yes. And I vote yes. So we are approving the um, site plan for the solar farm. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, great project. Thanks everyone for your time. Yeah, we no look problem. forward to look forward to working with the town uh, for 
long time to come on this. So thank you. Yeah, thank you for a, a real. You did a really good job. Very thorough. It was a little different than our last solar uh, review, so that was it was good. Very cooperative. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Hopefully, we set a good basis for any future projects. So, um, good luck, Absolutely. and we'll be we'll be talking with you again soon. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Drew. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks. Um, so, second public comment. Is anybody waiting to tell us what they think? uh nope all right so we will not even open that informational items uh the, the great falls construction is looking to have the buildings down before april 1st oh okay that's soon yeah. <laughs> i'm like that's well i was like what's today <laughs> that's yeah. 10 days okay so cool they're gonna move fast well, that'll be fun to watch it, so if you've noticed there are people in hazmat suits up on the up on the uh, office building and they're just taking care of asbestos. Yeah. Um, it's in all the remaining buildings and they're going to address that and take your buildings down. I would really like the um, T, A, N, N, E, and R off the building. I know I've, uh, I've told the guy that owns Great Falls that <laughs> since that's my son's name, every time we drive by, he's like, mom, let's get those. Like, I'm sure I can. I don't, we don't have to steal them. Um, anything else? Any other public information? Should we be All right. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. No, um, should we uh, be taking any caution around that area for people walking on the sidewalk or anything? No, anything that um, for safety precautions, it's it's already fenced off. Because um, when they did most of the construction, I mean, it was even closer to the sidewalk, so they'll they'll take the proper precautions okay makes sense <laughs> <laughs> all right um so that brings us to adjournment Who, who's the newest allison or amber i need a motion paul. for an adjournment oh paul oh sorry paul's the newest New deck. yeah i need a motion. I move that we adjourn the meeting of the planning board on march 18th awesome adjourned we don't vote on that one <laughs>